Who? Who are you? You sleepy buddy. This is my other one, Mia. Tail wagging him back there. What you guys don't get to see every morning is that I exercise these guys before we make a video like this. Because otherwise they're crazy. High five for the video? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> not, not gonna get rowdy. No getting rowdy, huh? Yeah, I gotta make a video, guys. We're gonna talk about wallets. Record. Round two. Notice uh, there's no mic here anymore. I'm working on stuff. I'm working on stuff for you guys. I'm trying to make it better. All right, let's go. How about those dogs? You guys get to meet my dogs. That's Louie and Mia. They're good dogs. Louie's a good boy, Mia's a good girl. Anyway, I have been on this mission of sorts. Have you ever been sitting down at your favorite restaurant and just like can't quite get comfortable? Or sitting down at your favorite sports game and you just, you just don't feel right in the seats, right? They're hard bleachers, something's just a little bit off. Or you see your dad go over to grab you a Christmas present and Wham! On the very back of his pocket, you see a two inch lump coming right off his butt cheek. That, my friends, is the mission I've been trying to solve the last couple years. Wallets don't need to be this big. Those old school tri-fold dad wallets. I can remember back in the day getting some of my very first wallets and they were that same kind. Tri-fold, boom, put all of your stuff in there. But hey, let me tell you something about growing up in the 90s. That was when you needed some stuff. You needed to keep your receipts, I guess, so they say. But we're, things have changed. We're 30 years later. It's 2022, folks. We don't need those big fat wallets. So let's start off with a game of, well, let's pick a hand, any hand. Right hand, left hand. Your choice, right hand, left hand. You wanna go right, you wanna play safe, or you wanna go left, live dangerously. You wanna live dangerously because you're feeling a little spicy today? That's cool. Let's start with the left side here. That's a winner. You picked a winner right off the bat. We're gonna get more into these, but I just wanna give you a look at this wallet here. This right here is my daily driver right now. It's very soft, it's very awesome. Like I said, we'll get back into that. Right hand, left hand. Oh, you wanted to live dangerously, so we'll go back to the right hand. This is what you would call at the stores a two-for-one special. How about that? So a little history. As I started looking to replace my old school dad wallet, big ass wallet, this was the very first wallet I got. Well, actually I got two other wallets. Rest in peace to those wallets because I made it 33 years of 32 years of my life without ever losing a wallet. And then all of a sudden on back-to-back -back weekends, I lost wallet after wallet. Those were the single kind of slip style where there's just one pocket. And I like those, but I think these are better options. So let's go through like the evolution of wallets here. This right here, this nice brown grain, little yellow stitching. This was my first wallet that I really, really enjoyed that was a minimalist style wallet. And what I like about it was this little design here is you could slide wallets out of it or you could slide your cards out of it relatively easily. You have dividers on the front. Let's go over here. Dividers on the front, one, two, one in the middle. So you have five total dividers on this wallet and it was good. I used this for a couple years and I still like it. But as I've changed to some different wallets because well, I don't know, I'm just always buying stuff, I guess. I just like seeing what's out there and hopefully you get the benefit of that. I've been I've been trying to find new stuff. See, you know, see what see if the grass is greener on the other side or not. And in this case, it has been. I like this wallet. This was my OG original. But what I didn't like about this was it was hard to slide cards out of. And I don't think it has necessarily to do with the thickness, but the style of leather. It just, they kind of will get stuck coming out. So it'd be a little inconvenient hard to draw your cards out of this wallet. And then if I were to review it to the other ones, the leather is just more, well, it's a little more plasticky. It's a little more shiny. And that might be something that you like, but I guess I like something that's softer, a little more dull on the leather side of things. But that was wallet number one, which led me to wallet Wallet number two. And this is a great wallet, by the way, you all. This is simpler, it's got less dividers, which I actually think less is more in this case because I didn't need that many dividers. This has four dividers, one wrapped around the front and then one central divider. Your cards will pull easier out of this. And my first impressions of this out of the package was, hey, this is like a much nicer leather than what I had had. 
I like the color, I like the stitching. Um, the design is simple, it's still got this little tab here on the bottom, so you can slide stuff out of it. And cards do slide in, easy in and out of here. And the maker of this wallet actually seems to be pretty damn cool. Customer service was good, reached out to me. Actually checked out my YouTube channel, shout out to you for doing that, that was really nice of you. I did pay for this, but yeah, it's a, just a leather wallet that I like. It's simple, it's dark, dark leather. It's cool. And at the same time I ordered that, I ordered another one because I just wanted to try a few different wallets out. And that leaves me to settle on my A1 right now. This is, this is the wallet. This is the one that I'm gonna carry for a while. And particularly if I'm just to compare this side by side right now, these are both good wallets. The cards both slide in and out easily. This one has the pull tab on the bottom or the push tab so you can get stuff out of it. But this one doesn't need a push tab because the leather is really, really soft. It's actually kind of soft and a little bit thinner. So you can see I can just slide stuff in and out of here. See that? Everything slides in and out easy. And there's only two dividers, which I find to be enough, or I guess three dividers. You can see here, there's a little bit of cash in the front, the same $200 I've had for a while because I never spend cash, and then another subdivider, and then uh, a main divider in the top, which is where the majority of my cards go. So I have a three, a four, and a five card divider. I found that for my needs, what I need is three or four is probably good. I like three here as you have like a main compartment with a couple accessories where you put maybe your main credit card or two in the one and then a little bit of cash in the other. And design wise, I do like having that little, I think it's brass, but that little rivet on the front, that little rivet holding that little cash wallet or whatever you'd want to put in there, little stash wallet. So just feeling it, can you feel that? It's nice and soft, it's simple, it's brown. I really like this wallet. I would still use this wallet as well. I think this wallet probably has, this wallet seems like it's made out of slightly thicker, very durable leather. I like them both, simple, awesome. And to be honest, I probably wouldn't go back to this wallet. It just feels a little cheap after using something with nicer leather. I never really liked that my cards didn't want to draw out of this wallet. They were hard to pull out. And I was using the same amount of cards in all three of these. So I feel like I got a very fair comparison. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys some wallets that I've liked, that I've enjoyed, my everyday carries, my minimalist style wallets. I just think RIP to those fat old wallets. You don't need to carry those big receipts anymore. You don't need to carry those big wads. It can actually be bad for your back. My chiropractor, when I met him a long time ago, would grill me for having a bigger wallet and for good reason. Number one, you don't need that many cards. We're living in 2022. Number two, you can get away with something like this and it's just much more low profile. You can carry it in the front or the back depending on what you like. I'm still kind of old school. I like to carry it in my back pocket. But that's what I got for you guys today. All of these wallets are linked down below if you do want to check it out, except for this one I couldn't find. It's no longer in production or something like that, but that's not that big of a deal. I will get one of these. I will get any little leather wallet and support a leather craftsman somewhere, craftswoman. I think it's super cool that leather makers are generally small shops and I like that. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. We got lots of stuff in the hopper for 2022. I'm excited for it. I will catch y'all back here next time.